And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some discard burn. It's been a long time since we've played this style of decks. We got we got Draven, we got Jinx. We're going to be discarding a bunch of stuff, going wide, being real aggressive. But we also have a, a unique version of this deck that we're going to be playing today. A viewer submitted um, discard burn version with some some new cards. Right, we got Ballistic Bot in here. I've never tried Ballistic Bot with this kind of deck. And also we're not playing Vision and instead playing Suit Up instead of Vision. So this will be interesting to see how this works. Suit Up um, is a card that one is, is honestly kind of underrated, but I think could, but two could work really well in here. A couple of great Suit Up targets are Flame Chompers making a 4-4 Challenger. You know, you're basically building a, um, uh, like the dragon, right? Like the four or five challenger dragon. You're kind of making that with your suit up flame chompers. You know, so especially if you discard the flame chompers to anything and it just gets summoned for free. Now you got like four spell mana to just make a, um, like one of those dragons. So that can be really strong. Or you can also suit up things like, like the daring Poro. That's like the elusive, um, or just, you know, any of these like small things. Um, you, you know, you can just get like some, some good value out of suit up. You can save your Draven and Jinx sometimes from three damage removal. So it'll be interesting to try this out instead of playing vision, playing suit up instead. So let's, let's, uh, give it a try with uh, discard burn with this different version. Something that people probably won't be expecting because they, you know, don't really see too many people playing, um, suit up in this deck. Fiora Aphelios. This deck's probably amazing. Those are two great champions together. I don't want the Poro Cannon. I could just discard the Poro Cannon to the Urchin, but I might as well just mulligan it and see what else we get. We uh, get something else to discard to Urchin. Wow, this is difficult. Obviously, I want to play Urchin on turn one, but I don't want to discard any of these. But let's see. If I go Urchin on one, House Spider on two, Draven three, Jinx four. Like, I want to do all that, but I don't want to mulligan, or I don't want to discard my Get Excited. Huh. I really wish I would have just kept that Poro Cannon and just discard the Poro Cannon. No, definitely not going to mulligan the Get Excited against a deck with two incredibly powerful three mana, three three champions. Definitely not mulliganing the get excited. Why couldn't I, why couldn't I just switch the, the two draws? Like draw the jury rig first and then the house spider after that. So I could see me playing Draven and then they play Fiora. It's Draven. Um, if that happens, that happens. You know, like it. I don't think that just passing and ending the turn is a better option. I'm guessing that's what they are considering. Oh, no, just played the Aphelios. You hoping they'll die of boredom? I think I'm going to want to play Get Excited this turn. But maybe not. Now we're cooking. That's perfectly fine with me. I'll trade a spinning axe for a two mana spell. Now we'll have you know, our other spinning axe to discard to kill this Aphelios. They will be able to, if they just play anything, they'll be able to get a moon weapon. But I'm glad we got that Sunblessed figure out of their hand that would have protect the, protected the Aphelios.
So I'm not sure which, you know, which one they would have got. I could see. A, I'm not sure. Like I could see a lot of different ones for them to to get. Like I'm not sure which moon weapon. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Would be the best. Um, you know, like the life. I could see them getting life steal. I could see them getting grab the two cost follower. I didn't exactly want to play Jinx into, you know, Fiora or anything like that. Any kind of, some kind of, like, challenger or something. I wanted to just wait on the Jinx. But I wanted to see if they would have, like, you know, spent more mana, done something else. Maybe I could have played the Jinx, so I just passed. That's good. Not a spell. Let's do this. And there wasn't Equinox or Crescent Strike. Spinning axes. This Draven card's pretty good. Yeah, I like I like keeping flame chompers. I know I, I could have kept yeah I could have kept a two one if I would have pulled a two one. But I honestly like really I really like keeping flame chompers and having that uh, be able to take a blocker and and help out my Draven and Jinx attacking. So single combat's an option. Of course, I can level up my Jinx in response to a single combat. Um, but it may be better just to play the other Jinx. I'm going to block with the Urchin, which will make single combat a lot worse for them and also help out my get excited if we decide to go that, that route. I think if they just pass turn, I, I guess I'll just go to the next turn. I don't think I lead off with they get excited. Let's see what they have. There we go. Worked out perfectly for me. <laughs> Probably just open attacking. Let's see what we got. Cool. That'll help with the open attack. We got a burst speed 1 1. 10 damage. Put them down to 4. Have a super mega death rocket. Just like we drew it up. So we played two Guiding Touch so far. All right, can't handle any more. Good thing they didn't Concerted Strike while they still had a 4-5. And they waited until they had a 4-3 to do it. All right, back to Twisted Fate, Aphelios. Is it 
difficult mulligan decision, I guess. We are going to send these two back. I think I keep Flame Chompers. I think we keep, like, one card that we want to discard. Um, the old turn one suit up. Do I... Yeah, I do. I was going to say, do I trade my 2-2 for that? And the answer is yes. I can certainly see them... Um, you know, playing another Boxtopus, right? Yeah, it's so like if I would have played Draven, they go Boxtopus. And I'm not going to just Mystic Shot this Twisted Fate right now, because if I Mystic Shot the Twisted Fate, then they get to play another Twisted Fate. That uh, can red card all this stuff. Okay. So they're just playing that card? Like that's just like a card they're playing? How much mana? So I have 8 mana. I need 9 mana. I want to play all 3 of these things. I need 9 mana for all 3 of these. Okay, they did just pass. I want to try to kill this Aphelios before they play two spells. Astral protection? Yuck. So we're playing astral protection. Like, so if I if I suit up the Spiderling, it still doesn't kill it, right? Because like the suit up plus the Mystic Shot is six damage. But I guess we can. So I, I can also, like, I can do both and kill it. But I kind of want to see if they do something else first. Okay. Well. So still just only puts it down to one. They can still have a lot of things to protect, but I do want to get this Draven out of my hand for, you know, Jinx. So I'm going to end up doing this. They they did unfortunately get the, their other moon weapon. Now Veil Temple is just going to keep getting this, keep protecting this Aphelios. So they do have another moon weapon still. But that's why I had to kill that Aphelios before that gem. Which I'm glad they didn't just gem first. Are you kidding me? 
I guess they have that too. Wow, this is free cards are are fair. Another Veil Temple. This ain't looking great. I stand for Noxus. I gotta work with this Joker. This isn't looking great. It's gonna be a very large twist of fate. Could work out. Shuffle. Yeah, let's go work out. I think this could work out. Patience, Cabo. Patience. All right, so that will kill the Twisted Fate. They'll have nothing, but they will draw four cards at the beginning of the turn. Um, but of course, we'll be able to open attack. This is, looks like 13, if I can math correctly. Them open attacking four. Dra Draven, Draven, really? We've drawn five Dravens this game. Draven's probably the worst card for us to draw now. Because I can't, I can't really unload these from my hand to create Super Mega Death Rocket. See, even discarding one to a Spinning Axe, <laughs> I can't even get rid of the other. But of course, the Jinx is hushed, so no Super Mega Death Rocket for us anyway. get all their life steal. Definitely the worst possible draws was was the Draven Draven, but you know, we'll just kind of see what happens from here. Yeah, so they have Severum. That's the that's the lifesteal weapon. We're still drawing two cards around. <laughs> ballistic bot, ballistic bot. All right, y'all are a little slow. Not the best top decks, but I mean it can be okay, right? Like it's it's just not it doesn't end the game right away for us. But these will be good cards in a longer game. They'll be strong. So, like, my opponent needs a longer game to win, but we are drawing cards that are good in a longer game. So it's not the worst for us. Yeah, they probably probably won't expect triple Draven. I think, right, like, they're they're determining what to sever them. If they sever them, the Aphelios, this thing turns into uh, 10 health, which... If they have any kind of protection for it. Like, I, I could try double Whirling Death on the Jinx. Um, but, you know, any kind of protection. I, I could Spinning Axe also. Make it 12. I don't know if that's worth it, because I'm, I'm risking... 
I'm risking the Jinx dying if I do all that. Yes, yeah, so like I'll do, I'll do twelve. It is very risky. Um, and then yeah, we would still get the rocket. What are you Other option is just letting them, you know, heal for all this. so risky to go with, like the upside it wins it wins the game if it works but if it doesn't work lose the game how does this not working why why could i not target I could not target with that. Humanity is obsolete. Well, that was a bug. I didn't have time with the time running down. Alright, there. Let's see what happens. We got leveled up Draven now. And this could be necessary. Like, trying to get a lot of spinning axes could kind of be necessary for killing, like, a lifesteal of Helios. It's even larger. We could maybe make this Ballistic Bot pretty big, also, you know, spinning axes and Ballistic Bot, and then Whirling Deaths. Um, it's a little more vulnerable to hush, of course. Never mind about that. Right. They just have, I forgot they have infinite moon weapons. I probably needed to just go for it with the Jinx, because it doesn't get, it's, it doesn't get better for me. I should have just gone for it of trying to kill the, of have the Jinx kill the Aphelios, but... Good, good uh, learning lesson there. From darkness, light. They chose Infernum. I think that's Overwhelm. Should've just tried. Should've just tried. So this is what losing feels like? Sucks. It's a double whirling death. Kill Aphelios. Alright, more Aphelios, hooray. They're playing Zoe. Do I want to keep Mystic Shot against Zoe? Nah. All right, guess we we'll, guess we will. Oh, I don't I don't have any decisions on what I'm playing day 1 of the next expansion yet. 
Lissandra does, yeah, Lissandra looks really, really good. Um, tough is such a great keyword. I know I can, so I can challenge this and have like a 1-2 challenging the goat, and then these all get through, and we do 7 damage. But their goat survives, they get a gem. Just doesn't sound like what I want to do. I'd rather just trade here. Okay, or trade Battlecaster for Pale Cascade. I, I like Flame Chompers a lot, I, I value Flame Chompers pretty highly. I don't think we need to just throw it away. Once I stand papers, now faces. Yep, now I'm going to be making a 4 4 challenger. Suit up. Suit him up. Nobody expects the suit up. Jinx? Stands for Jinx. <clears throat> Nobody expects the suit up. So if they're going to hush, you know, like they maybe. So something I have to think about is like Hush, Jinx, and a Blanc. Um, if they do that, they would have to have like a, a fourth Mountain Goat. They've already played three. You know, like another like two mana, three, two, because of course I can challenge with this four, three on that Mountain Goat. So they'd have something else that could block Jinx. <clears throat> no, I don't I don't think there's any reason for me to pass. I think I attack. Like what's what there's not really anything that bad that they can do. Um if I play jury rig if I cast it, yeah, we're, we're just going to cast it. Yeah, they get to yeah, they can play an Aphelios now. Um, but we got that 8 damage in. We have this Augmented Experimenter that can kill an Aphelios. It's not like they're... It's not like I have to worry about, like, Boxtopus. Did they get a one or a two mana spell? If they didn't, the game's definitely over. Okay, they did. So the game's not over. They had a, a tarative improvement. That card's good. Okay. Two and one. All right, Aphelios game number four. Aphelios victor this time. Um, I guess we keep turn two bot, right? I guess so. It's a little slow, which isn't, which is good for them. I'm definitely playing the urchin. Um, I'm just, I'm considering discarding the bot and keeping double battle caster. 
I'm gonna do that. It'll be a while before we can really do a whole lot with that bot. They're not attacking with the... If I pass, they don't just attack, do they? I would have, of course, been the best case scenario as I pass, they attack, I suit up my urchin. Yeah, that probably would not have happened, but that would have been fantastic if it would have. Worst case scenario for me is they they for they got the deal four deal one card. Um with the with their celestial card. If that's the case, I'll just suit up the battlecaster, I guess. Yep, that was the worst case scenario. <laughs> no, no survival skills. Survival skills, yes, would have kept Draven alive, but it would have also had kept Draven alive at only one health. So I'm just going to be playing... I think I'm just going to be playing the Augmented Experimenter next turn, which is a six, six mana. Exactly, so... Let's go ahead and get halfway to leveled up, Draven. And an extra point of damage. So I don't. Th I know that like I, like both of those in hand, I could have rummaged them both away, but I think I'd rather just... Augmented Experimenter. I don't think they're going to deny the uh, Reckless Research without having Ionia and only having three mana. <laughs> Lifesteal, really? 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 Think about just blocking with Battlecaster and having Mystic Shot for it. Or, yeah, I could block with Draven. Um, it would not level up Draven, but it would just kill Victor. And it would just trade. And then we're both left with three cards, and I have those, those things in play. Yeah, that's probably fine. Oh, some blessed vigor. Yuck. At least, hopefully, now Mystic Shot kills it, and hopefully, they don't have a second card to protect Victor. Yuck.
Yeah, because like, if they do that, I'm responding with Mystic Shot. That's too bad. Wish I had a suit up here. Man, this could not go any worse. This could not have gone any worse. Got really, really punished for blocking with that Draven. Sure, just get Spell Shield. Just the, the best t possible two. Life Shield and Spell Shield. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe regen actually now is worse than the, the like than the spell shield. I guess regen probably would have been worse. I feel like both these games, like if we lose this one, both these games we've lost have been pretty cr crazy. How just quick attack to go with the life steal? Pretty crazy how poor our luck has been. I don't know why I didn't cast this suit up before. I guess I wanted to see what I drew. Yeah, right? I always get, yeah, I get Fury. <laughs> There's the regen. Yeah. Both of those games, I felt like we were like 95% to win and just didn't. And Aphelios number five. So five games, five times versus Aphelios. I think we've played against Aphelios either eight or nine nine times out of the last out of the last ten. It's either been eight or nine that we've played against Aphelios. I don't think I just throw this jury rig away because it's a good thing to discard for one damage. I don't think so. Hooray. I'm glad I didn't play the jury rig. I probably need to get the I probably need to double spell with the twos and get the ballistic bot in play. Oh, it is a great day for a so they want to play Aphelios. I would assume, or... Okay, they're just going to play their own bot. I mean, it was... Yeah. We actually have two, like, you know, we saw Poro Cannon there from our opponent. We actually have two Poro Cannons in this deck. We haven't seen them in the in any of the five games, but there are ac there are actually two Poro Cannons in this deck. Time for the main event. It's not Draven, it's Draven. Yeah, I forgot forgot about them because yeah, we hadn't we hadn't seen them a single time in five games. Even even with the Mulligans and everything, we haven't seen a single one. And it's not like I'm saying that like that's that's not necessarily why we're losing games because we don't have Poro Cannon, but Join me if you want to live. Uh, 
So I don't really want to cast the ignition and give them the opportunity to play another blocker. Alright, so just didn't need to spinning axe. Fortunately, it did. They do have the best card in the game. Hey, there's a portal cannon. We're just talking about you. So what moon weapon did they get? This is their moon weapon right here. Deal three to a follower. Not too surprising. Harvey. I gotta work with this joker. Aphelios is really fun to play against. Just having the choice of five amazing cards and just always having the best possible card. And just getting a ton of them. This is, this is a really enjoyable champion to play against. Faith brings us together. They don't have a moon weapon in hand right now. The next one they're getting is the stun. So if I if I play crowd favorite, they go burst spell, burst spell, and then, then they'd have the stun. I stand for Noxers. I gotta work with this joker. Please kill Aphelios. Hooray! Okay, we have a we have a chance with Aphelios being dead. They do have a deal three um, moon weapon in hand. Deal three to a follower. Okay, we got a couple champions. Oh, never mind. I guess they got to get a two drop. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings. But people, you should try blinking sometime. Follow the trail. This is gonna hurt. So I take five. So I think I need to kill this insightful investigator. I mean, I could just kill them both. But, yeah, you know, I could obviously just go here and then get rid of that and block and trade Draven. That'd be me trading Draven for a Ballistic Bot. I guess, so like if I take five, I'm at nine and they have two Ballistic Bots in play. Mm, maybe I can't even do that. I guess 
I guess we have to throw that thing away and save five life. They're down to seven. We're getting closer. So yes, I could could just play some daring poros, but I also don't I don't need to play the like we're gonna have like a ton of mana anyway next turn. I don't I just don't really need to play the daring poros. Don't need to let them know about the daring poros. Um, you know, just don't really have any any real need to do anything right now. There we go. That actually worked out really well that I did not play the Daring Poros. We well. So much about the whole working out thing. Because Aphelios is still broken. Then once they kill the Jinx, that is game. Okay, Felios may be too good. <laughs> it may be too good. Just the... Um, yeah, just getting all those moon weapons everywhere all the time. It was pretty ridiculous. So, ended up going 2 and 3 against those Aphelios decks. Um, that one at least... At least that one felt more... Um, you know, that one we didn't really have as much of a chance in that one as, like, the first two, but... Um, yeah, that's, that's really, really rough. Um, uh, we needed, we honestly, like, with those, some of those games, like, what we needed is more, we needed more burn spells. More, you know, like, Mystic Shock, get excited, more ways to kill our own units for, like, whenever they attack with a nine, like, they just kept on, like, all those games, like, we were losing because of, like, nine power life steals, and I just, like, if I could just, like, Mystic Shot my own thing and not let them heal their Nexus a lot of those times, it would have been really nice. So the suit-ups were okay. They they weren't too bad. I I'm not sure they would have been better than Visions. I would, didn't care for Ballistic Bot at all. I think Ballistic Bot's a worse Battlecaster, um, but it's just it's too slow. Or like it just it plays into my opponent's game plan. So I really didn't care for the Ballistic Bots. Um, I think that I I would prefer more Burn spells and more Augmented Experimenter. Augmented Experimenter was awesome. Um, so I I would probably prefer that. Like another you know maybe another Get Excited. And another augmented experimenter, and less ballistic bot, right? Like I think, I think I just even if we want to keep the suit ups, just take those out, play another battle caster, get excited, and experimenter, and I think I think that would be um, better there. That's all I'd recommend. Just doing that. Um, fervor, yeah, fervor is probably the card. Yeah, yeah, noxion fervor, yeah, noxion fervor would have definitely helped. Definitely. Noctifer was great, and it, it's another way they can kill Aphelios or just, you know, go upstairs. You get to block and then deal Nexus damage. Yeah, Fervor is definitely the card. So if you want to just play two, get excited, play another Fervor. Um, Pseudo could probably be a two of. Yeah, Fervor. I could definitely see Fervor being the card. Pseudo wasn't bad, though. Like, it, it did some good work for us. It was It was pretty good. 
Um, maybe maybe we don't need. Maybe you don't need the third experimenter. But you know, like so that's that's something to kind of uh, try there. Like maybe just or, yeah. If we want the second experimenter, maybe only play two suit ups. But I mean, suit up was pretty good. But yeah, I think fervor is the card. So I think that's basically what I would do for sure is take out the three ballistic bots, play another battlecaster, and then play two fervor. I think that's that's the start. And then if you want to change anything else, you can. But yeah, let's do that. Let's play some fervors. Yeah, the suit ups were really nice, so I, I didn't really want to take one out. So maybe you don't need. Why well, just put the volition? Sorry, the art is kind of the same. Uh, where's the six mana card? There. That's similar art. This guy. Maybe we don't need another experiment. Maybe we just had fervors. We we don't need another experimenter. So yeah, just do that. All right, but there we go. So that's discard burn. All right, so those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hopefully you en enjoyed seeing us play against some Aphelios. Because that's what today's been. <laughs> we're, we're playing no targ on Tuesday and only playing against Aphelios, I guess. All right, but that's it here for uh, this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.